Today, we're speaking with Nicholas Scalise, founder and growth marketer at Earnworthy, a conversion-focused growth marketing agency that turns your funnel into a lead generation and sales machine. Nicholas is an expert in all things growth marketing and is the author of the Growth Marketing Newsletter. He's also the host of the Growth Marketing Toolbox and Landing Page Tool Podcast. I've been doing growth marketing for about seven years, and I've been working in the marketing industry for about 13 years. So I run a small agency called Earnworthy. We specialize in landing page optimization, also uh, some email marketing and some cold email outreach for clients, mostly on the lead gen side. So we work with a lot of professional service companies. And then I also run Growth Marketer, which you mentioned, which is a podcast, newsletter, and a whole bunch of free resources at growthmarketer.co. What are some examples of your favorite websites right now? Yeah, I can actually pull one up. So uh, I'm looking specifically at a uh, at a site in the lead gen space uh, because we do a lot of lead generation versus like e-commerce because I know there's all different types of websites. So why don't I share one that I think is just doing a, a fantastic job? Let me uh, share my screen. So this is a company called Lemonade. Now I'm not affiliated with them. They're actually a pretty big company and it's a, it's an insurance provider. And what I love about this, this whole website is that it's very conversion focused because, uh, you know, when we think of insurance, there's always these questions you have to ask, and it's a pretty long drawn out process to generate a lead in the insurance space. But I think they've done a really good job of having this really simple call to action at the top. They have a lot of social proof. They build up a lot of trust with these trust logos, the reviews. They have a little bit of uh, humor if you read some of their copy. So it's not like stuffy insurance copy. And I think it's just overall, it's a, it's a really cool, easy to scan website. But then the coolest part is when you click through their actual form, their, the intake process is very conversational. They have this photo of Maya and they ask one question at a time. And so I think any business that's trying to generate leads can learn a lot from lemonade.com. What are some of the like positive trends that you're seeing with websites this year? Yeah. So there's a lot that's going on right now with lead generation uh, and how do you get people to take action on a website? Cause I think that's the age old problem of you know, a lot of websites are generating a lot of traffic, but how do you convert that traffic? And so the first trend that I'm seeing uh, are multi-step forms, which we just saw an example on the Lemonade uh, site. So I think that's one of the best things that you can do if you want to convert more of your website traffic into leads or consultations or whatever, um, is to take a complicated form that has a bunch of questions all on one row and convert that to a multi-step approach where you show one or two questions at a time. And there's some really good tools that that we could certainly talk about that help you do that. And then the other thing is creating what I would call conversion boosters or conver conversion elements on your site. So things like the little widgets that pop up in the corner that say, um, you know, 10 people have subscribed today or 15 people just purchased this product and travel sites are really good at this. When you go to like hotels.com or Travelocity or one of these sites, you'll usually see like, Hey, five people just booked this room in the last hour. So adding that type of Social proof is another really good way uh, just to increase the likelihood that someone's going to convert on your website. What are some trends that you're ready to see end this year for websites? There's so many. I could, I could go on and on about them, but I think the top ones are uh, whenever you get to a site and there's a pop-up right away, like I'm all for pop-ups. I think, you know, people always say, oh, I, I don't like pop-ups, but they work. That's why people use them. But you need to put some type of delay on that pop-up. So you don't want that to pop up um, right away. You want people to have a minute to understand what the site is about. And then also something that I think is, is often overlooked is button text. So I see so many sites where they have uh, a form and then the button just says submit right? Uh, submit is not usually a good uh, call to action for a button. So you want to give people a sense of what's going to happen when they click that button. What are they going to get? Um, are they getting instant access or are they booking a consultation or are they purchasing a product? So I would say, you know, if you, if you have any buttons on your site that says submit, I would try to uh, think of what other phrases you could use in place of that. What are some of your favorite tooling or software for websites right now? So my favorite way to build landing pages, which are a type of, I guess you could say a type of website, but they're, they're like these standalone um, assets. You know, a lot of people don't know what, what landing pages are, um, but my favorite tool for building them is called Unbounce. 
And that's a drag and drop landing page builder. So you can easily build a, a landing page using one of their templates or starting from scratch. You don't need to be a designer. And you know we love building unbounced pages for ourselves and also for our clients because it's quick and easy and you can also test them. And then another tool that I really like that we've been using a lot recently is called Landbot and their website's landbot.io. And it's a conversational chatbot tool that you could basically use in place of forms or in place of live chat. And it's very easy to create the chatbot however you want it to, to function. And it's this whole little experience that you can then embed onto a page or have it in a pop-up or have it in a, a widget at the bottom of your pages. And it's just a great way to capture that, um, that lead and so that they don't have to just encounter a boring form. So Unbounce and Landbot are two tools that I definitely recommend everyone check out. Lastly, just wanted to give you a chance to promote your work. Give a plug to any marketing teams looking for help with landing page optimization, marketing automation, cold email outreach, or conversion audits. Yeah, if any of those things are of interest to, to anyone watching this, you could check out earnworthy.com. That's our agency. And we try to specialize just on those four services, mostly landing page optimization and some type of um, limited email marketing, email automation. And then if you just want to learn more about this stuff and you want some more tools and suggestions, I encourage you to check out growthmarketer.co. Uh, that's where I publish my weekly newsletter. I have a podcast. I have a whole bunch of free resources you can download. Um, so if you liked any of the, the recommendations I shared, and you're not looking to work with an agency, definitely check out growthmarketer.co.